Okay, guys, let's look at a problem where we're finding the area of the unshaded region. Okay. If we're looking at this, we have a pentagon inside a decagon. It's really just doing two problems at the same time and then subtracting them. Because if you look, this radius here is the same radius for the pentagon as it is the decagon. So we can actually just move this over and we now have two separate problems. So if I'm looking here, whatever, let's go blue. Okay. Solving this problem here, we're going to need our apothem. One, we're going to need this piece here. Remember to find this angle in here 360 divided by the number of sides 10 is 36, then divided by 2 is 18. 18 degrees. So let's find the apothem, and that's going to be the cosine of 18 is A1 over 8. The reason I'm doing A1 is because I'm going to have an apothem there also. So let's do the cosine of 18 times 8, 7.61. Now let's find the side length. It's going to be the sine of 18 is x over 8. So let's see, sine of 18 times 8, 2.47. That's only a part of it. The side length, you have to multiply that by 2, 2.47 times 2, 4.94. So. so that makes the perimeter, there's 10 sides, 4.94 times 10, 49.4. So the area is one half the possum, 7.61 times the perimeter, 49.4, 7.61 times 49.4 divided by 2, 187.97. Okay. Let's look over here. We need this, bottom 2, and we'll need this. 360 divided by 5, 72 divided by 2 is 36, 36 degrees. And we're going to do the same process for this one. The cosine of 36 is A2, A2 over 8. The apothem here, cosine of 36 times 8, 6.47. Now we'll do the sine. 36 is y over 8. So y sine of 36. See, it's pretty repetitive. You're just doing the same thing over and over again. 4.7. So the side, just take that times 2. 9.4. Now the perimeter, multiply it by 5, 47. So now we find the area of this. One half the apothem, 6.47 times the perimeter, 47. 47 times 6.47 divided by 2. 152.05. Now we just subtract those two. 187.97 minus 152.05. 35.92. Yeah, it's, it's not too much difficult. It's just tedious. You're doing two problems at once.